Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. It is round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Game one on tap tonight. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with that glove to stop that one. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Slides it across to Wah. With possession along the wall. Scoops up the puck here. Norfolk's gained possession along the boards. Wah Rivière's got control of it now from their own end. Pass back to the point. Stopped by the goaltender. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Win it in the defensive zone. Feeds the puck across to Wah. Reaches out and uses the stick. Slides the pass over to Montgomery. More folks got possession of the puck. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Battling for the puck that still hangs on. Look at the center back. Pressure. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Easy save. Score! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Admirals have come out very hungry in this one, and look at this, they get the 1-0 lead. The coach was talking to us at the pregame skate about how important it is to get off to a good start, not let anyone into the game to start it in your barn, and you couldn't have drawn this one up any prettier. Quick pass to Tournier. Gains the zone from the right side. Here's a chance in front, and he makes the save with ease. With the bank pass. Forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Good heads up play to sneak in there on the tie-up and come up with the puck. Gets in front of it. Shot, and he shuts the door again. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back-to-back. -back. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. The setters will glide into the dot. The Admirals win it. Slick feed. And that shot gets caught in traffic. The Lions move the puck in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Boyer. Here's a chance. Oh, what a save in front. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. The Admirals get a hold of it. Fires it. Love save and just enough of it. And he takes the feed. The Lions move to the offensive zone. Knocked off the puck. They fight for it along the boards. The Lions have it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Filio. Oh, what a play to give up the body on the block. Into the offensive end now. And that's a great read to force the turnover. The Lions are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the 
the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. Trois Rivieres have put up a lot of shots so far here in the first, but they still haven't found any finish or any solid results yet. Ducharme's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done! Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer, while the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. This just exemplifies the critical nature of an ozone face-off, James. When you win it, you own possession and you can attack the net. Past the midway mark in this period, we got a tie game. The Admirals take control of the face-off. Dumps it in. Moves it quickly over to Ducharme. And he takes the feed. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. The Lions are being called for tripping. The Edwards will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First opportunity on the power play in this game. Specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. The Admirals have played from the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center for the right wing. Here's a shot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And in this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless, misses the net. And that's intercepted by Thomas. Here we go, pucks in deep. McLean's got the puck in his own zone. The Admirals fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. We are still tied. Specialty teams are so huge in any game, James, especially when it's tied. You don't want to fall behind and have discipline really be a factor in the game. Oh, and what a save as he gets that one, too. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Quick feed to Boucher. different beast it's not regular season anymore you want to be an impact player you want to make a difference and he does tonight I hear coaches preaching all the time take away the eyes of the goaltender what does that mean it means you get yourself in front of that net whether it's a double stack a double screen whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck and he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly he tries to make himself as big as possible but he can't catch up to the puck Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Loose puck battle along the boards. touring has got it in the defensive end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Fantastic save! Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal! Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, this is an unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this, and it winds up in the back of the net. Here in the late going of the frame, Trois Rivieres really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Norfolk's won the draw. No, he's got it into offensive territory. attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. That's a great heads-up play to break up the pass. And he takes the dish. Takes the feed. Handles the pass. Takes control of the puck. Norfolk's looking to break out. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Romina's gonna play it from the back of the cage. Sends 
the pass over. Denied by the goaltender. Poirier's stick handling in his own zone. Poked away in the defensive end. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Oh, the save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? The Lions had an impressive start to the game, and they need to continue that through the second period, James. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James. Playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's gonna be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. We get to the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. The Admirals have jumped right back into this one here in the second with that goal. And you can certainly feel the momentum changing tides right there, James, especially after that goal. They've cut the deficit within one. Norfolk's got a hold of it along the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Right up the gut into the offensive end. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here, just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Beauregard's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Takes it to center. Moves it to Momini. Makes the glove stop. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Robidas ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Admirals win the draw on their own end. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Trois Rivieres got the puck. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Made the stop on the play. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the... Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it, James. Gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Well, this power play will show up in the video room tomorrow. There's no question about that because it had it all. Puck movement, motion, and urgency on retrieval, which I think is absolutely critical. Yes, got to start with the puck. If you want to find a way to get the shot to the net, and it winds up in the back of it. Well, Rivière has extended the lead to two here in the second. And I think they need to continue to play desperate. Don't sit back. There's a lot of runway left. Continue to take control of the game. Pass across to Noah. What a steal in his own end. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Oh, but somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. This shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Takes the pass. 
Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Nothing doing. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute. And that's a result right there, not hitting the net. And that one's denied. Norfolk's got it in the wrong zone. Moves it to the middle. Can't connect the play. Handles the puck. And there's the save. Quick pass to Beauregard. Parker Jones plays it into the offensive zone. Quick snap. Comes up with a monster save in front. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Here's a short pass to Momini. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Good use of the body on the play. Puck picked up by Momini. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. And that caroms off a body in the lane. The Lions have it from their own end. And they'll go the other way with a great play by McLean. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving, a reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Trois Rivières done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Moves it around along the half wall. Norfolk's got it against the boards. The Admirals gain control of the puck. Receives the pass. And he takes the pass. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Scores! And look at that! The rookie gets in on the playoff scoring! Well, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. a lot more intriguing here in this second period. I know it's cliche, James, but the game is 60 minutes. It's only the second, and they've got themselves within one. A lot of one way to go. Fires it on there. Denies him. Takes the feet at the back end. Denies him again. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Gain the line. Moves the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's back to Max Sorens. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Here in the back half of this period, Norfolk's trailing by one. And off the draw, they'll take possession. That goes wide. Takes the feed. A quick save. Looks to pass it to Kubacek. Gain momentum up along the side. Norfolk's got the puck against the half wall. And that's deflected off someone in front. Quick shot. No denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Sends a pass over. Norfolk's moving it up the ice. Frozen. Now lining 
up here for the faceoff after a great shift there, Cheryl. Yeah, in the offensive zone, they have all the momentum. Would be surprised to see a little stall at the faceoff here to give their goaltender a little extra breather because he has been under siege, and you can see it on his face. He needs some rest. The Lions move it in. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Back at the point, they set it up. Slides the puck over. Makes the save with the ball. Right in front of the official's eyes, and the hand is in the air. Moves into the slot. Oh, just too much here on that one. Well, you're not going to get it. Scores! And I guess they won't make that power play after all. Well, it's a delayed call, and it almost looks as that defensive structure collapses. And man, did they take advantage. They've been behind all game, but they plod their way back with good habits, and they find themselves at an even score. Norfolk's equalizer comes on a lot of hard work here in period number two. The coach will be happy with this performance, the pushback, the fight to claw their way back in late in the second, and this will set them up nicely for the third. the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area and cause serious injury. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. Here we go. We're on the way in the third. Everybody had a Oh, the bones of the glass rattled here on that hit. Not just rattled, James. It is clearly broken in the cleanup crew. They got some work to do. We're still in the early stages of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck grabbed by McLean. Norfolk's gained the line and into the zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Trois Rivieres got it in their own zone. Martin's got it against the boards. Ross taking it from his own end. There's a shot. Solid hit on the play and that knocks the puck off his stick. Can't get a hold of that pass. Carroll's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. And that puck leaves the zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to McLean. And the save. Norfolk's got the puck along the boards. Taken by Momini. He carries the puck up along the wing. The Admirals have it now. Long lead pass into the open ice. That stretch pass was a beauty, James. Takes a shot. Too much congestion in front. Dumps the puck in. The Admirals gain possession. Norfolk's got a hold of the puck. Poked away at center by Beauregard. Norfolk's got the puck in the corner. Huge steal in his own end. Here's a blast! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Verbenich. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's what you see from a young age, them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Norfolk's got it, and they're on the attack. Great save by Verbenich. Quick feed down low. The backhander. Oh, that's a huge stop by Verbenich. Oh, spectacular save on the play. What a great job of tracking the puck up. One but two consecutive saves. Norfolk's got the puck along the wall. 
the feed. Shot and makes the save. Slides the puck down low. Back to the point it goes. Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. that this game is not over just yet with lots of playing time left in this third period, but they do, Cheryl, have the enviable position of having the lead. Well, they've got the lead, now they're playing in front, but they got to do a lot more of what they've already done, James, and that's hold on to the puck, manage it, don't give it up easily, make good blue line decisions, and they should be fine. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Norfolk's been a better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. The Admirals come up with the defensive zone draw. And he takes the feed. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. And it's a quick pass to Kubitschek. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leading a lasting impression. The Admirals have been peppering shots on goal all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. The Lions win the faceoff. Trois Riviers cross the line and on the attack. Here's a chance! Denies him in close. Now well, these are the saves when you know that the goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. The pass in front! He scores! What a goal! but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. Well, Rivier has finally shown some pushback in the third, and they've got a goal here. It's amazing, James, how a game can change within the game, and that happened right there on that last sequence. Getting to the middle of the ice, fighting for possession, and that's a sense of urgency late in the third. And a solid save there as we play on. There's another consecutive save. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Carroll's lugging the puck. And he takes the feed. Explores his options behind the net. Norfolk's across the blue line. From the point, they take control of it. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Moves the puck along the half wall. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Moves it to Thomas. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, this is just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find the puck because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. The Lions tie things up, and suddenly we're in next goal win territory, Cheryl. Yeah, these last minutes are critical in this game, and you know that the big mistake that happens, it could be the last one. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Thomas takes the puck. The Lions have been resilient throughout this game, James. They found a way back into it because they continued to compete, and they never gave up. Trois Riviers on the attack. Sends it in front. And that's stopped. Scores! There it is, the go-ahead goal. And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift.
critically important. Well, he had his eyes on the puck. He tracked it perfectly and got himself set to position, James. I thought he had it. He got a good chunk of it, but he didn't get it all. The Lions now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crush time, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it. Continue to apply the pressure. Gets the puck in deep from behind the net. Now a quick pass to Louis Shaw. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Beauregard's won a big draw on their own end. While Rivière's got the puck in the defensive end. Great read with the stick. Fires it! Missed the net! Oh, that would have tied it right there! Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? When you're trying to pick a corner and the goalie's set to position, sometimes it's the result. You miss wide. Well, with a one-goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're short-handed, and they gotta find a way to kill it off. The Edmonds once again send out their power play unit. Well, on a one-goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Well, you're leading late in the game. You've got to find a way to kill the clock. You know what the best thing is to do? Make sure it's not in your zone. That takes the pressure off, and that's a smart dump right there. Carroll's into the offensive zone now on the attack. <laughs> Exercise, tracking with your eyes, foot movements, everything that power pushes you across the crease. And unfortunately, this time he's just too slow getting across, and it hits him and goes to the back of the net. The Admirals weren't ready to go home, and they weren't planning on rolling over in this one tonight. Look at this, Cheryl. You know, my parents used to say, keep the pedal to the metal, and this is exactly what they have to do with that urgency. They score the equalizer, and now they've got the momentum to try and win it all. Made the stop on the play. Zone. Here's a shot, and that's blocked from center in front. Here's a chance. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Trois Riviere's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. And he hangs on just as time runs out. A big face off here inside the offensive end. concludes we are off to overtime both teams will get set to drop the puck and try to pick a winner next
Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 one, one sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. And the puck clears the zone. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. The Lions move the puck in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Momini. Well, rivier has got a hold of the puck now. Moves the puck behind the net. Here's a short pass to Mary Ortiz. And he takes the dish. Oh, no one comes up short as all of the inside of the frame. The Lions are still at even here. They have an opportunity to go up by one, but unfortunately, they hit the pipe again. Thornberry's a victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. Well, as you head into overtime, you know that you're tired, you're vulnerable, and a penalty is taken. The coach is just yelling at the official there, saying, how can you call that at this time of the game? Well, Rivier's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Whoa, James, I'm surprised the ref made that call. A power play in overtime. This is exactly what you want when you're a big player. You want that puck on your stick with a chance to be the overtime winner. The Lions have it now. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. The Lions gain possession along the wall. Grabs the puck here in their own end and manages to clear the zone. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Well, Rivier is looking to break out of their own end. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. A chance to win it! There it is! They score and win it in overtime! This squad came to play tonight. Well, this is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly, so you got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. The playoff action continues here next time, here on EA Sports.